Hi, I'm Pat Farrell. I work for Salt City Constructors. We're working on the I-81 viaduct project going through Syracuse, New York, rerouting the uh, interstate through the city. Right now I'm running a 120 RT link belt. We also have got two telecrawlers. There's three operators and we switch back and forth between machines. But this is pretty much the machine I've been on for the past three or four months. Primarily I'm working on the bridge abutments, setting forms, setting re-rod with the iron workers. We do form work along the highway for the retaining walls. That's pretty much the extent of my, my job scope right now. My best chart is the 111.2 boom length. I'm picking gang forms that they'll run up to 8,000 pounds. They may be 30 feet high and uh, probably 30 feet wide. You can run pretty much flat boom sometimes with this machine. This thing's got a good chart, but I can set up in one spot and reach a lot of what I need to do. I like link belt cranes. I like the RTs. Link belts are nice. I've run anything from, say, an old 30-ton uh, link belt up to the 348 crawlers, and I like link belt. The telecrawlers, we have a 500 and we have a 550. So both of them have got the complete counterweight sets on them. So we've got the 50 ton and 55 ton. And we had to get the weights on them so that we could get the capacity with those things to do what needed to do. But they don't have to run the radius that I do with this. You know, they're, they're boomed up tighter so they can handle their loads. Like I say, I like them, they're user friendly. Hey, the lighting on the, uh, the link belt was nice. You can actually rotate the lights and point it where you want to be and it made it great for the form ganging crews. It gave them extra light. We, uh, we rode this thing several miles between sites, and it's as good as anything. This 120RT is a pin boom, but you can scope in within a boom section so that as long as it shows that your cylinder is pinned to that section, you can move up to the next boom section's latch. You can scope in and out with a load as long as it'll move. You can change your swing very easily in this thing, your percentages, you know. Some days, depending on how hard the wind's blowing, I'll change my setting. But it's very easy to go into the computer and change your settings. Inside the CAD's very nice. Their computer systems are all very user-friendly. With the Pulse, you have your, your setups for which winch you're using, depending on what chart you're using, if you're at 100% with your outriggers out or midsection or they're retracted all the way. It just depends where the chart is, you know, what you're, what you're picking. There's also the different boom modes. I have found the EM1 mode works the best for me. And like I say, that 111.2 that in the chart with the EM1 mode gives me the, the capacity I need at the radius I need. So whether you're on full outriggers, mid outriggers, you've got good capacity. I mean, that, that's a big thing with, with any crane. I like the link belts. I recommend them. I've run pretty much the gamut of link belts. They're user friendly. When you get in one, you know what you're gonna run into. It's what I expect in the link belt. And I have no problems with these things. They're a rugged machine. I've run them in a lot of different situations over the years, and they're just a very good machine.